Hey girl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today is the last Sunday of 2019. That's crazy. This year literally flew by, but a lot has happened this year. For me, it was probably the most life-changing year of my entire life, including this little guy. Here's a little bump date for you guys. He's growing and he's grown fast. If you did not know that I'm pregnant, I don't know where you've been all year. Now, since we are at the end of 2019, I thought it'd be a good time to do a little recap of all my favorite products of 2019, from hair care to skin care to makeup to things I'm gonna continue using in 2020. So let's start off with hair products. I actually got two new favorite hair products in 2019, starting with the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Mousse. Technically, the Curl Talk line was launched in the end of 2018, but the relaunch of the Silicone Free Mousse was 2019, and I reviewed this in February, and that is when I fell in love. And this is literally top one or two favorite stylers of all time. Like, you guys know I'm a gel girl, but this mousse, changed my life. It's great for wavy hair, curly hair, fine hair, gives you volume, dries pretty fast, silicone free, paraben free, sulfate free, super affordable. I'm talking like seven bucks, readily available, and it's just, it's probably what I used all year long. Another amazing curly hair product that became one of my favorites this year is the very new Curl Smith In Shower Style Fixer. This is Curl Smith's Super Hold extreme hold gel for curly hair and you apply it on soaking wet hair and this gave me amazing results and even amazing day one curl so this is probably my favorite new gel that launched in 2019 so these two were great additions to my year Another thing that happened in 2019 was that I did the rice water rinse challenge for you guys that were around that subscribed if not you should subscribe now Early this year, I did a whole, what I do, like at least four weeks of rice water rinse video challenges, but I really did not enjoy that. But fortunately, this year, Curl Smith also launched a super slip prebiotic primer that has rice water in it. So I was very excited to see that I can get my rice water benefits without having to do the actual rice water rinse all over again. So this has been really cool to have a product with rice water in it. Honestly, the whole new Curl Smith line for your scalp, I was very impressed with this year, as well as them releasing two new deep conditioners. And these are great additions to my mask collection. My favorite, probably smelling and affordable mask of this year, this might not even be a 2019 thing, but it's something that I used a lot in 2019, is the Not Your Mother's. Matcha Green Tea Wild Apple Blossom Hair Mask. You guys know this is my favorite. And Not Your Mother's also had a bunch of the little packets, these little butter masks. These are great and super affordable. Another kind of random hair product that I learned about in 2019 is dry shampoo. I never knew the dry shampoo could be used for curly hair. I thought it was for straight hair. But dry shampoo is amazing for volume on curly hair. I use this on like day one curls when it just won't give me any lift. It kind of gives like your roots a little bit of, of grip and it keeps everything up. And I fell in love with this IGK first class charcoal detox dry shampoo, which is silicone free. It's kind of hard to find a silicone free dry shampoo. But this one was the game changer this year. And my last curly hair product that really, I don't even know if it made an appearance on my channel, but I did use it a lot this year is the main choice exotic kool-aid mellow melon and nectarine melted shine oil this shine spray smells amazing and actually makes your hair look shiny some shine sprays make your hair look like greasy and they smell weird but this one actually made a difference and i loved it so this was another frequent used product in 2019. Now let's talk about hair accessories. Another main choice favorite is these main choice crocodile clips. I got these clips in a PR package and I love them. I use them for my deep conditioning treatments when I put my hair up and you just get so much more hair than like a normal like 99 cent store claw clip. 
So these main choice clips were clutch. I also used my Goody Ouchless Forever Bands. This might not be a 2019 thing either, but this is the only hair ties that I use, period. Like I don't have time for my ponytails to be popping all over the place. Goody Forever Ouchless Bands, these don't pop. They don't break. I repeat, these have never popped on me before you know that's a curly hair problem. So these are the only scrunchies that I use and I probably will never switch. And one of the greatest curly hair finds of 2019 is definitely the Be Hairful brush. I did a full video on this recently. I did a giveaway on it recently. And this brush is hands down the best detangling brush I have ever used. In my video, I even compare it to other brushes and it's pretty much undefeated at least for me. So this Be Hairful brush was a great addition to my 2019 and I will continue to use it in 2020, probably the rest of my life, especially on my soon to be child. I do have a promo code. Hopefully it's still active whenever you watch this video. So I will link it below in the description box. You guys can save some money. Now let's move on to makeup. My favorite foundation of 2019 would be the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. This is one of, if not the best foundation for oily skin. I have extremely oily skin and this foundation keeps me matte all day long and it smells great, oil-free, 14-hour wear, oil-controlling, photo-friendly, and all that is true. And I also used it with the Too Faced Primer, which I liked as well. As you could see, it's running pretty low. But since this isn't really like an affordable foundation, I had to kind of chill out and make sure I don't use it every day so I don't run out. And I started using the new Juvia's Place foundation sticks. This is the color Dominicana. And this has been a really great, like easy go-to everyday foundation when I don't want to use my expensive stuff. And it's actually what I have on now. My favorite lipstick of 2019 is not actually what I have on right now, but it's by Real Her. This is the color I Am Adaptable. This is my favorite red of 2019. You guys have probably seen me wear it on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me, follow me now. Um, but this red is like the perfect red. It lasts all day long. It doesn't smudge. This is like when you can wear it at Disneyland from the beginning of the day till the end. You can eat your Cheerios. You could have your Dole Whip and it won't get messed up. A new liner that I got this year is by Profusion. This is Profusion's Wing It Super Fine Eyeliner, which is what I use today for my wings. As some of you may know, I only use the NYX Cosmetics Winged Liquid Liner, and then I also use the Schwing by The Balm. But this is a very affordable, amazing, very pigmented, liquid liner that I have been using towards the end of 2019 when I got it. And I'm very picky about my liquid eyeliners. This one's been great. Another Profusion must that I legit use probably every day this year is my Profusion Sienna's palette. As you can see by how grimy it looks, that's how much I used it every day. Like look, this one is, has hit pan and I just, this has like all the most beautiful brown, neutral, copper colors that I use every day. And this is probably under 10 bucks, like sold at Target. I love how affordable Profusion is and I use their stuff all the time. When it comes to skincare, not much has changed. I'm still using my products from Mary Scott Skincare, including her Sunshine Cleanser. I use her Mandelic Acid and I also use her Sulfur Acne Lotion. I use these every day at night when I go to bed. My favorite daily moisturizer 2019 is Derma E's Vitamin C Renewing Moisturizer. Me and my husband Royce use this every morning. He actually probably uses it more than me. That's why we've used probably three bottles this year. And this one is now empty too because he likes to take my things. But this has been a great everyday moisturizer. And a really good like thicker moisturizer, it's probably better as a night cream that I've been using, is by Urban Skin RX. This is their Hydro Balance Instant Moisture Infusion. It's like a very thicker cream, very moisturizing moisturizer. Very moisturizing moisturizer, go figure. But yeah, I've been loving this one as well. Oh, another Urban Skin thing that I should have brought that I'm too lazy to go get is the Urban Skin Pumpkin Mask. You guys saw me use it in a previous video and that is probably my favorite face mask 
of 2019. It smells like a pumpkin pie. It's exfoliating and yeah, get that for show. So I think those are all of my legit favorite products from 2019. I feel like I reviewed so many things this year, but these are the products that really stood out for me and that I'm gonna to continue to use forever. Now, since we are approaching the end of the year, you guys know what that means. It's almost time for me to launch my next year's challenge. If you're new to my channel, every year I start a challenge for you to continue throughout the whole year. First time was a no heat challenge where I challenged you guys not to straighten your hair for a year. Then I did the deep conditioning challenge where I challenged you guys to deep condition your hair once a week. And then this year's challenge was a big chop challenge, probably my most dramatic challenge, where I encourage you guys to chop off those dead ends. So this is what I'm gonna need from you. I need three photos. I need the first photo to be a picture of your hair before, where it had like all those damaged straight pieces that wouldn't curl back. Then I get a picture of you after you big chopped, let me know when you big chopped this year. Was it January? Was it the middle of the year? Was it yesterday? Let me know when and show me how you look with your new big chop. And then if you are someone that big chopped like in January, I want to see how much your hair has grown now at the end of the year. So that's three photos. Your before, your big chop, and your after one year progress of hair growth. And you just might make it in my next 2020 video of all of my amazing big choppers. Now I tell you right now, I already know some of you guys are gonna consider your trim a big chop and it might have been, you know, a very emotional thing for you, but I'm looking for real big chops. I'm talking like one inch, two inch, or if your hair is longer, maybe you did like five inches or more. I don't know. I'll need to see the pictures, but if you cut off a significant amount of your hair due to heat damage or color damage, or maybe just a fresh start, I wanna see your progress throughout the year. So I can show everybody how amazing their hair could look if they would be just as brave as you. So the best way to send me photos is going to be on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. DM me your photos and I might just put you in my 2020 challenge video when I announce the 2020 challenge, which I already know all of you are gonna to wanna to join next year. If you absolutely positively don't have Instagram, but you want to send me your photos, you can email me at BiancaReneeEvents at gmail.com. I'll link all this information below in the description box, but I can't wait to see your progress. So now I want to know what were your favorite products of 2019 and how many of them did you buy because of me? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. I post new videos every week and you get an additional video on my new channel which is called RNB Fam, which is a new family channel that my husband and I started to document our whole pregnancy baby journey. We got vlogs, we're gonna have kid product reviews, strollers, things you need to know before and after you get pregnant. And we just got a lot of content going on all over the place. So subscribe to RMB Fam, subscribe to Bianca Renee today, follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee, and I hope to see you guys next week or <gasps> next year. Ah, happy New Year, everyone, and thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Yeah.